Today I'm showing you guys Soft Ether VPN, uh, which first off is free, which I mean, that's going to be the uh, defining reason as to why to get this for a bunch of you already. Uh, a lot of people are looking for a good th free VPN. For the rest, um, it is actually open source as well, which is fantastic, fantastic, fantastic VPN uh, in general. Soft Ether basically uh, stands for Software Ethernet. Uh, so yeah, that's that, I guess. Uh, here on their website, they have all the information you could ever ask for on this uh, VPN. If you want to read through it, then I do recommend you do it. It's pretty interesting and stuff. Now, for the actual download itself, I recommend going over to their other website called vpngate.net. This is also going to be linked down in the description below. Here, we want to click on this top link, which is the download for a soft other VPN client plus the VPN gate client plugin, which is really what we're after here. So we can just simply click on that and then the download is automatically going to start. Now you might be wondering why the hell I'm showing you something like this on my channel and the reason for that is that Soft Ether VPN is known to actually bypass a lot of VPN de detection systems including the ones used on some Minecraft servers. I'm not going to guarantee that it's going to bypass every single one. Uh, that's also definitely not the case but it is a really good option if you want to try and bypass something of the like or just use a free VPN in general. So now as you can see in my downloads, we have got it right over here. It's currently a zip file, which um we don't want it to be that. So we can right click on this, click on extract all, and then on extract once again. Depending on your operating system, that might not actually be an option for you. If it isn't, then I will link a program called 7-Zip down in the description below, or you might already have something else called WinRAR, for example, that works too. Anyways, uh, we can actually delete the zip file if we want to do that. Anyways, right over here, we want to open up that and then locate this file over here, the one that under type says application. If I full screen this, it still doesn't show the full name. This is an exe file. That's, that's It's the one we want. Um, so we can double click on that and that's going to open up the soft other VPN setup wizard. And we can just run through that. I'm sure you guys have run, ran through a million of these before. Uh, agree to the end user license agreement, of course. Read through that. Take your time doing that, by the way, uh, then click on next and um, next once again. Finally, actually, you want to click on next once again there, and then it's going to start the install. All right, so now as you can see, that has been finished, and um, we can choose the option here to start the soft other VPN client manager, and that's exactly what we want. It's automatically going to start up here for us. This is a uh, soft other VPN. Fantastic, of course, that's exactly what we want. Um, I've used it before here, so um, you should see VPN too. That's just something else. Don't have to pay attention to that. What we want is the VPN gate public VPN relay servers. That is what we want to use. We can double click on that, and then um, that is going to open up this area right over here. And now, basically, this is going to allow you to use the VPN. Taking this box is going to um, add your well, basically join your IP address to the VPN gate network and allow other people to kind of proxy or use your VPN as, I mean, use your IP um, through this VPN, which um, unless you necessarily really want that, I don't really recommend pressing it, um, but well, we can click on OK over there, and then this is going to open up the VPN gate public VPN relay servers. Uh, this contains basically all of these servers that we can connect to. As you can see, both of the, most of these are going to be in Japan. That's also where this thing is from. But as you can see, there is, for example, one in the United States right over here. And um, you can also see how many people are currently connected to them. I believe that's what the uh, VPN sessions is over here. So uh, yeah, that's basically that. We can connect to any of these. Um, the ones in Japan are going to be the most stable ones over here. These are going to be the non-volunteer ones. Um, these are the ones I recommend connecting to if that's what works for you. If that's um, if that's fine, of course. As I said, there's going to be other options here as well. Restarting this, checking it, starting it up different times is going to give you different options here as well. If I check tomorrow, there might be different options because of the volunteer service, obviously. Um, Anyways, for right now though, I suppose that was basically that. Simply yes, choose one of these. I'll just choose a top one over here. 
there we go that one looks pretty good i can click on um connect to the vpn server it's going to give me all of this we can agree to that and then we can use the tcp protocol uh right over there okay and now as you can see we can uh, check our status which in this case is connected so that is fantastic of course you can disconnect and the like all that stuff but for right now that was basically that uh thank you all ever so much for watching and i do of course hope to see you again in the next one bye bye